There's a dinosaur sensation coming to GMTV every Saturday. And he means business. Better look out when Barney's about. There's no limit to what he'll do for fun. Use your imagination and the magic of Barney will appear every Saturday. Looking at Monday evening here on Carlton, at 7 o'clock, the Duchess of York will be visiting the Children's Cancer Ward at St. James's Hospital in Leeds in the last of our birthday series of Jimmy's. Now back to this afternoon, and in half an hour, the news, followed by Children's ITV. But first, we take the high road. Did you know over 90% of pure orange juice is made from concentrate? by removing water direct from the orange and replacing it with water not direct from the orange. At Tropicana, we do things differently. We make our pure premium orange juice by squeezing oranges, then pasteurizing. You pick Tropicana Pure Premium, orange juice direct from oranges, not from concentrate. If things aren't taking off as planned, Milky Milky Way! A magically rich, light and fluffy new centre, surrounded in delicious milk chocolate. Milky Way! So light it's magic any time! The magic's in the Milky Way! Where now is Edward the Confessor's healing power? The Black Prince's love of chivalry. The courage of King Charles in his last lonely hour. And all Victoria's pageantry. In these royal jewels still, royal virtues flower. And grace a new brilliant setting in the tower. 6.30 in the morning. I must be mad. But you've only got to look at them to know why I do it. Good boy, Storm. Bet you. After all that exercise, they can't wait to get stuck into a really meaty meal. Pedigree Chum is satisfying meaty nourishment, packed solid with all the goodness they need. I can't imagine life without my dogs. I wouldn't even consider giving them anything but the best to keep them bursting with energy. Pedigree Chum. Top breeders recommend it. Introducing New Pledge Soapy Cleaner for Wood, specially formulated to clean dirty wooden surfaces, such as wooden floors, kitchen units, and doors. With its special soapy formula, it cleans wood, removing everyday dirt and grime, with no need to rinse. And because it's from Pledge, it won't damage your wood. Pledge Soapy Cleaner, gentle cleaning for wood. Heartburn. For fast, effective relief that lasts. New Bicetol Heartburn. It's dedicated to beat the burn. Fast. Shaken back, now comes in a new range of fragrances. They give your carpet an outdoor freshness. So some people think they are outdoors. Shaken back, now with new fragrances. Controlled and guided by the invincible android, 
This is an adventure like you've never seen before. Scavengers, tomorrow at 6 on ITV. On Monday evening at 8.30, World in Action investigates desert fever, an illness affecting a lot of Gulf War veterans, but which the Ministry of Defence says doesn't exist. Well now on Carlton, it's time for the ITN News Headlines with Dermot Murnahan. Good afternoon. A Royal Navy ship has seized fishing gear from a British tuna trawler in the Bay of Biscay. Officials say it was suspected of breaking European regulations. The Spanish officials today claimed that British boats had been flouting the rules for years. Inspectors from HMS Anglesey boarded the Cornish trawler Charisma in the Bay of Biscay. It's a move that has been welcomed by the Spanish fishing authorities, who claim British vessels have been using nets which exceed European rules. Perhaps the reaction is um, one of uh, satisfaction and uh, confidence that the, um, that the system put in place will allow for a peaceful fishery to take place from now onwards. The netter, Pilot Star, bears the scars of hairbrush with the Spanish fishing armada. Crewmen holding up the remnants of their fishing tackle. They claim the Spanish cut through their nets, causing £30,000 worth of damage. At the stern of the vessel, the empty space where the troll nets would normally lie. In Cornwall, the threat of continued action by the Spanish has hardened resolve in a community which sees tuna fishing as a vital source of employment. The fishermen's determination to return to the fishing grounds remains unshaken, whatever the risk. An inquiry is underway after a boy of 14 fell to his death from the top of a fairground ride in Essex. Another 14-year-old boy was seriously injured. The accident happened as the fairground was preparing to close and the two 14-year-olds were on the last ride of the night when they fell 45 feet from the cage of the big wheel. Both were rushed to hospital where one of them later died. The other boy is now said to be in a comfortable condition. The fair had been set up in the grounds of the high school in Manningtree. The headmaster this morning read out this statement. Uh, the head teacher and governing body of the school wish to extend their condolences to the relatives of the boys involved in the accident. And we've been assured that a full and thorough investigation will now take place. Investigators.